Welcome to News 3. I'm Kurt Williams. Topping our headlines, the murder case against a local teenager charged with killing another teen after a high school basketball game is moving forward. Today, a judge ruled 18-year-old Damari Batten's case will move from juvenile court to circuit court. Batten is charged with second-degree murder in the shooting death of 17-year-old Justice Dunham. It happened back in December after a basketball game at Minchville High. According to New News Police, Batten claims he shot Dunham in self-defense, but the judge ruled the charges against Batten will stand and proceed. Another jump in what you're paying at the pump. According to AAA, the state average is up six cents to 4.24 a gallon. In Hampton Roads, it's a few cents higher at 4.27. That's another record-setting day for gas prices, up five cents since yesterday. Your weekend plans might have to change. For a third straight year in a row, the Norfolk St. Patrick's Day Parade has been canceled. This time, it's due to the threat of severe weather and not COVID. Hey, and speaking of weather, Chief Meteorologist Patrick Rocky joining us now with the forecast. And yeah, we do have some wild weather on the way for the weekend. And of course, that's why that parade was canceled. Things a lot more tranquil this evening. We still have some clouds hanging around this evening, but a lot of those are going to be clearing off as we head through the rest of the evening and overnight hours. But replacing the clouds will be some areas of fog. So some fog will be developing overnight. And do watch out for some areas of dense fog for your Friday morning commute. It will be a cool start to your Friday with temperatures in the upper 30s and the lower 40s. So things get interesting as we head into the weekend. Uh, it's going to be a nice mild one for Friday. Enjoy the sunshine temperatures in the upper 50s and the lower 60s. Even warmer on Saturday for a little while anyway. That 65 with a down arrow means we're going to hit our highs early in the day. Cold front swings through brings us a chance for some strong to severe storms in the morning and then some snow in the afternoon. And it gets downright cold on Sunday, waking up in the 20s with afternoon highs on Sunday only in the upper 40s.